Joining us now, State Senator Lauren Book. We invited her to speak with us because she's a child advocate and a survivor of child sexual abuse, so she understands better than most just how important the work Agents Schwarzenberger and Agent Alfin were doing for us and this entire community. Senator, thank you so much for being with us. You released a statement yesterday calling Special Agent Alfin and Special Agent Schwarzenberger heroes among us. Just talk about the importance of the work to which they dedicated their lives. Well, thank you so much. And and really, as a child who um, was a victim of childhood sexual abuse, law enforcement and those people that help you through what that is and take you out of that situation are, I mean, life-saving God's godsends for survivors of abuse. And every single day, those those agents, law enforcement, go out there to try to protect children. And this is not an easy um, an easy space to work in. Um, you're dealing with the worst of the worst and you're seeing the worst of the worst. And these two agents, the three that were injured and so many others, um, you know, give so much of themselves, sacrifice each and every day, um, leaving their families, not knowing if they'll return to help keep children safe. And so they are heroes among us. Um, and the, the gratitude that we have for them and as a survivor, the debt that I feel, um, you know, is it's a hard to put into words, really. Well, Senator, along those lines, uh, when she was not on duty, Special Agent Schwarzenberger was a mentor to kids. Uh, Rockway Middle School in Miami-Dade released a statement talking about how much she helped open students' eyes to the dangers that exist online and in the real world. I mean, this is such a taboo subject, and talking to this, these kids is so important. What are your thoughts about her loss, not just for law enforcement, but for, to the community at large? And and you're right. I mean, she, Agent um, Schertzenberger, talking to children and and making sure that they are aware of the dangers that exist online is so important. Not just for those kids, but those families, those parents. It's important to know that one in five children, regardless of their um, gender, will be solicited for sex online at some point. Particularly at this time during the pandemic, um, children are particularly vulnerable. And those lessons and those that time that she spent with those children in those classrooms, educating children and families and communities about safety in those ways is so important. Normalizing um, some of the feelings that survivors of um, internet crimes against children may feel um, is just incredibly um, special. And you know, I think that those children, those communities that had that opportunity to have her there um, will be forever changed. I mean, particularly in the pandemic, like we talked about, there's a spike of 31% of children that are exploited, exploited online in 2020. And so, um, you know, having her out there and all of the work that she did in that space was incredibly, incredibly important. And Senator, in our coverage of this tragedy, we've spoken about the parallels between this shooting and the 2004 shooting of BSO detective Todd Fata, who was killed while serving a search warrant on a registered sex offender. Should law enforcement start rethinking how they work in the field on cases like this? Look, I, I you know, and I've watched a lot of your coverage and, and some of the other coverage. I think that, you know, there's a typical profile of sex offenders, and that may be the case, but I do think that very desperate people do very desperate things. Um, and oftentimes um, these types of perpetrators of, of abuse um, in these ways that maybe we don't see and we don't know that those are happening outwardly. Um, when the jig is up and law enforcement is closing in, those individuals tend to sometimes lash out. And I do think that those are things that, that we do need to be aware of and, and look at and, you know, again, I think that, you know, as the FBI does look at some more of the tactical responses in terms of serving search warrants and other things, that those are things that they may think about. I'm sure they'll be reviewing policies. Uh, State Senator Lauren Book, thank you very much for joining us. And stay, thank with you CBS, guys. stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com and all of our social media platforms for continuing coverage of the FBI tragedy. We'll bring you any new information about the case as soon as we get it.